Hi everyone, this is Sabina from Origami and today with the Origami features I'm about to show you everyone will think a team of designers worked for months to make your SharePoint look this good. Now let's see what these features are all about. Number one, full width banners. Pages with empty space on each side of a screen are a thing of a past. Most of us expect full width magazine looking pages like this one. SharePoint out of the box has a bit of a limitation because there aren't a lot of great options to put in a full width section. There are just three apps. With the origami, almost all apps are full width and responsive. Let's look at these top three banners. To make your internet feel more like a communication tool, similar to a website or a magazine, use Carousel with expanding quick links. It grabs attention and makes people curious about a story or an announcement. You can change the size, colors and fonts and even use a video for your slide. Also, at the bottom of the banner, employees can access the most common links that can lead to enterprise tools or popular information pages. Now, what if you want to display multiple announcements instead of one big story? For that, you can use this banner with news. Here you can add a personalized welcome and change any of the styles. Compared to other banners, this one fits a lot more content in the same space. Okay, let's move on to our banner number three. On some pages, you might want to give employees the ability to search for tools and resources right away. This search banner is perfect for that. It can search for files and document libraries and group all resources by tag. Number two, News Center. Having news and announcements on the home page is great until news take over the entire page and there is no space for anything else. Many organizations want to show news from different departments and that only exaggerates the problem. How about this? What a change! The same volume of news but they are neatly organized into categories. This is what Origami News Center web part can do. We see some customers use this web part to create a category for enterprise applications and have links linked to things like Paycor, Workday, or Concur. So this web part can double as a resource directory. You can change styles and design for different news feeds and how many categories are displayed, but my favorite feature of this web part is how easy it is to create a news category. Out of the box, you'd have to create a whole new site to have a separate news feed. With the origami, you just need a folder in the site pages library and then simply map a folder to a category, like this. Permissions and access are respected so employees can only see what they have access to. Such a difference. Number three, custom fonts. Little things like fonts and heading styles can make the page look like a cover page. Just look at the difference between these two pages. With SharePoint out of the box, you can use only a single font and can't change much of the font size or style. With the origami, you have access to over 500 fonts you can use on your banners and other areas of the site. Just look at the difference it makes to have a section title with this beautiful heading style. You can change the size, colors, and even the position of the text to make the page look just right. Number four, quick links. Quick links make it easy for employees to get to the most commonly used applications and Microsoft Quick Links web part does a pretty good job. However, we hear this one common complaint about SharePoint Quick Links and that is that you can't change the color of links unless you change the color of the whole site theme. The second complaint is that you can't change the shape and size of links making them too small for some users to read. The issue here is that unless you make Quick Links stand out and accessible, they may be ignored. And then what's the point of having them? With the origami, you can change colors, sizes, roundness, and even the location of your quick links. 
so they can overlay banners creating beautiful effects like this and helping links look more prominent. Number 5. Custom Icons Speaking of quick links, with Origami you have access to over 30,000 icons for some web parts and you can even upload your own custom icon. This helps further personalize your site with beautiful graphics that you had to spend no time at all creating. Number 6. Easy Search Alright, apart from aesthetics, many users say the search is a huge problem at SharePoint. When you see the search box at the top of the page, it will give you results from anywhere you have access to. You'll see draft documents, old documents, you name it. You can't easily target where you see results from. We found that most users on the internet search for forms, templates, how-tos, and policies. So we added this web part to Origami called Finder that lets you choose to show only content from specific libraries on the site. Instead of getting everything, you get results only from those trusted locations. Not sure what you're looking for? You can explore what's in these libraries. The Finder web part will literally stitch content from multiple libraries into one easy to navigate view. And of course, if you use the Finder search box, it will search within documents and show a preview of documents helping you find things fast. Number 7. Centralized Calendar Easy search is not something employees need only for documents. Let's take events for example. Events often live in dozens of separate calendars in SharePoint and out of the box you can't easily bring several calendars together under one view. That's why we added a calendar web part to Origami to let you bring together multiple calendars from SharePoint and Microsoft 365 groups all in one place. With this calendar, it's easy to select the date range and see color-coded events in seconds no matter where these events are. Number 8. People Directory Another common challenge is searching for people. SharePoint Out of the Box doesn't have searchable directory that lets you find employees by department or keyword. Almost all organizations already have employee information in Azure. That's why we added People Directory to Origami, which easily lets you search colleagues. You don't even need to set anything up. Just add People Directory web part to the page and employee contact information will show right up. There are plenty of options here, and you can choose to hide system accounts and other information. You can also customize contact card details or add custom filters like location or department. Number 9. Org Chart Some organizations want to display employees in an org chart. SharePoint has an org chart, but it's often said it's not intuitive. Once you start drilling down the org tree, you can't go back and you can't easily see the entire organization. With Origami, you can freely move around the org chart, drill down to user profiles, and the whole chart follows the company brand colors. And you don't have to do anything new to set it up. Reporting structure is taken from Azure. Number 10. Birthdays and Anniversaries Another common problem in SharePoint is the ability to show employee milestones, such as anniversaries and birthdays. There isn't a tool for this in SharePoint. With Origami, we added an anniversaries feature just for that. This feature lets you enter any type of milestone once and track it each year so employees show up on the roster of anniversaries without you having to do anything. Number 11. Social Corner Well, on the subject of employee social, another common request is giving employees a place to share micro-announcements such as employee welcomes, shoutouts, and idea crowdsourcing. In SharePoint, you can use Viva for this, but it's often said that maintenance of Viva is similar to investment in a whole new platform, and there is no easy way to archive or moderate what was posted. 
We built Origami Social Corner specifically to let employees post welcomes and micro-announcements that can be easily moderated and archived as needed. Employees can like or comment on posts and they can even get mobile notifications if they miss a post. This of course can be turned off. You can have multiple feeds which you can individually moderate and archive. Number 12. Personalization. This kind of personalization is what most organizations we speak ask about. While speaking about personalization, it's important to mention that SharePoint lets you target some content based on security groups. This is great, but often to create a new security group, you have to ask IT and that's not always approved. Targeting should be easier. So we added targeting for quick links and news to origami not based on permissions, but based on user profile attributes such as location, department, or a job role. This way, an author can decide who they want to target a new post to, giving more flexibility to page admins and less work for IT. Number 13. Heatmap Analytics So far, we looked at several origami tools and how they are better, but how do we know this is what users think too? This brings me to analytics. SharePoint out of the box has some basic analytics such as page visits and document downloads, but there is no way to measure engagements. What are employees actually doing on these pages? With Origami, we have what's called page heat map analytics. With heat map, you can easily see which parts of the page either got more interactions or views. That's how we know that People Directory and the Finder apps are some of the most popular apps on any internet homepage. We've built an entire origami toolkit based on data from thousands of heat map reports. Number 14. Employee Feedback But heat map analytics is not all. It's important to listen to what users have to say. In SharePoint Out of the Box, you can embed a simple Microsoft Forms web part to collect data but it's got some UI downsides. With Origami, we have a simple and effective feedback web part that fits into the page design like a glove. You can even send an alert to page administrators and trigger a workflow when a new feedback is submitted. Number 15, FAQs. The great part about the feedback feature is that you can collect some useful suggestions or questions and post them as a FAQs so next time an employee has similar problem or a question, they don't have to send you feedback. They can see it in FAQs. SharePoint doesn't really have a great way to show FAQs, except this clunky collapsible section tool, which basically means you have to build a new page section for every single FAQ. That can be a lot of sections. Plus, you can't change the style of the sections, and many users tell me, they can't tell the sections are collapsible at all. With the origami, we have two FAQ web parts that look clearly like FAQs. You can brand them to match your style, and they are super easy to add to any page. Number 16. Goals and KPIs So what other features are popular based on our heat map analytics? Goals and KPIs rank among the top. With SharePoint out of the box, you can embed a report dashboard from Power BI. But not all companies use Power BI for their KPIs. You might be using sales metrics from Salesforce, performance metrics from Workday, and so on. With Origami, you can simply add the embed script web part and add dashboards from virtually any system. And if you have a single sign-on with that third-party report system, the report will show up immediately. But what if you like to show charts or KPIs that don't come from any system in particular? Perhaps the data sits in SharePoint. With Origami, you can build beautiful charts and graphs in seconds. Simply use the chart web part, fill your data in, Choose the graph type, such as line, bar, or pie chart, and you can even set the colors you like. That's it. Let the chart web part do its magic. Number 17, add custom script. In fact, as the name of this origami web part suggests, 
Embed Script Web Part allows you to add any script to the page. You might have in-house web applications you might want to embed to the SharePoint page or trackers. This can all be added with the Embed Script Web Part. And to ensure the script you're adding is secure, SharePoint Administrator will need to approve adding it to the page. SharePoint Out of the Box also has an Embed Content Web Part, but you can't insert just any embed, and it's often limiting. Number 18, Process Timeline. Another popular feature on the intranet is the one that helps illustrate the process or a timeline. You might want to use one to illustrate a procurement process or onboarding process or even a company fundraising timeline. With SharePoint out of the box, you don't have many choices except for creating a custom image which can take some time and even then it's not interactive. Origami has a web part built just for that. You can illustrate any process in a few easy clicks, provide links if needed, and make sure that the web part follows your colors and incorporates style guide. Number 19, alerts. Speaking of timeline, sometimes you need to get an urgent alert to your employees for things like open enrollment deadlines or outages. You want to make sure the message is visible and stays for some period of time. You can use banners for that, but you know how sometimes people have banner blindness because they get used to the fact that banners are for news and not for urgent stuff? So we added an alert web part to Origami to let you schedule an alert and show it on the homepage and other pages while employees browse the site. An alert can have a severity, which can make it brighter and you can even target alerts based on security groups. So you can have alerts for managers and employees in specific location. Number 20, per build SharePoint intranet templates. We looked at a lot of different web parts and I don't know about you, but when I build pages, I want to see how things will end up looking before I start building them. In other words, I want to see some pre-built pages so I don't have to spend hours thinking how it will all come together. That's why we added the most common seven page templates you can instantly add to your site with Origami. And because these templates are simply SharePoint pages, you can copy them, you can change them however you like. They are here to help you get started. Number 21, copy SharePoint pages across sites. Speaking of copying pages, Sometimes you create a great looking page and some other department wants to use it on their site. But you can't copy across sites with SharePoint. You would literally have to rebuild the page from scratch. I think that makes no sense at all and it's such a time waster. So we added a page copy tool to Origami that lets you copy any page across sites no matter if it has Origami web parts or not, you can copy pages in seconds. This is also great if you pre-built some page templates for your team and want to replicate them quickly. Customers tell us this saved them hours of clicking and it works like magic. Now that we've covered top Origami features, what's so special about them? Here are the things to note about Origami web parts that so many customers love. It's easy to mix and match Origami and SharePoint web parts because Origami web parts don't replace or interfere with Microsoft functionality. This way, we make sure things run smoothly for a very long time. We're so confident in this that we even offer a warranty on our tools. Also, Origami web parts don't host your data. Your data stays secure in your Microsoft 365 environment. Because of this, Origami is not a subscription. When you buy Origami, you have it for life, and you can keep designing with our web parts as long as you want. If you see new features we added to the product, you can upgrade when you wish to upgrade, just like you'd upgrade a new phone when the time is right. So that was an overview of our top 21 features. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.